Hello everyone, I'm Phoenix Blade and welcome back to Abzo. In the last episode, we entered this derelict evil looking ship. Um, it's evil obviously because of the color palette. <laughs> it's very like red and orangey, so obviously it's evil. Plus we have these triangle things that want to electrocute me. Yikes, okay. Um, I don't know why we're going in here. Just like I don't know um, pretty much why anything in this game. But... I do know that entering such a... Wait, wait, what? They're making a bunch of subs! I can't name all those subs. There's too many subs! So wait, were the subs bad this whole time? Scary sub, I knew it! I knew you were evil. Alrighty, well... Uh, like I said, there's only one way to figure... something out. I don't think I'm supposed to go that way. I don't know, it just it doesn't seem likely. <laughs> I did it! I squeezed by, just barely. But yes, by entering this facility, there's bound to be some answers um, to be discovered. Uh, we learned that this place makes the mines and makes the subs, and somehow, even though this place is super destroyed, it's manufacturing wise still operational that's interesting um oh crap one sec there we go i forgot to start my timer for the episode jeez i am just completely out of it today i'm trying to squeeze out some episodes um oh that doesn't look good what the frick are these robot fish <laughs> are these bad they don't look friendly I don't know. They're creepy as heck, though. <laughs> and I know those aren't real. Uh, and they're like trying to swim with me, though. Why? <gasps> Am I a fabrication of this machine? Oh, maybe. That'd be. Cr oh, because I have a triangle on my back! Oh my god. Did this place make me? But then why? Oh no. I have even more questions. <laughs> Am I technically a bad guy? Or what is bad, right? Like, maybe this all was built to preserve the ocean? Because I've been bringing it back to life, so I can't be evil, right? I don't know. I have character doubts now. But, um, yeah, I'm trying to squeeze out a few episodes before I go to work today. Um, but this weekend has been so busy. That's... That's not good. That's... I mean, I don't gotta get through that, do I? Can I just dive? What if I just dive and, like, skip past him? Can I do that? I don't know. We're gonna find out. <laughs> I'm stressed. Oh, God! Oh, God! Oh! Oh, great. It's gonna play a hacky sack with me in here. This is not good. This is not good. <laughs> oh, God! Yeah, I'm gonna get electrocuted a billion times before I get to the end here. Just saying. Uh, I'm gonna try to dive way down low. Oh, that's as low as it'll let me go. No, don't make me swim up to those. What's your issue? <laughs> okay, okay, I can do this. I can, no. <laughs> Just let me go the safe route. Stop forcing me towards the opposition. Okay, Just stay low and go quick as possible. Also, it's been a little while, so control-wise, I'm like remembering how things work. It's a good thing I got a flashlight, I guess. Go, go, go. Let me in. Okay, am I safe? Probably not. Oh, great, there's a super mega one. This must be the core of the machine. Hello, human. Hey, it's that shark. Okay, what the heck? What the heck? No, Sharky! Oh, it's all fried. And so am I. Holy crap, I'm a robot. I knew it. I was created here. What the frick? 
Okay. Um, it's not good. Not good at all. Ah oh, man, I don't look as cool. Oh, my fins grew back. Whoa. I mean, I knew I wasn't human, but... This is crazy. Although, if we could create things like this on Earth, that'd be pretty cool. Uh, they could be used for all sorts of things, like oil rigs, checking really deep down to make sure everything's going correctly and valves aren't gonna go kaboom. Oh, poor Sharky. Oh no, you're still alive and in pain. Quickly, I will shove a knife into your brain. So the shark was trying to destroy that place, it looked like. Oh, it died. Um, but, like, I seem to be on the shark's side. But that being said, why would that place create something that would destroy it? You know, unless I've gotten some kind of sentience? I have no way of knowing. Uh, I'm probably not anywhere near as aerodynamic in the water as I was before because now I have so much drag. Well, here we go. Um, okay, this place actually isn't super filled with water. Uh, it almost looks like he's pouring water into into this, which, I mean, obviously they did that on purpose, the game designers. Uh, I still don't really know what anything means. Um, so yeah. <laughs> and I don't really feel like diving because I think I'm about to exit. I think I'm about to walk around for the first time in the game. Holy crap. Oh my god. I'm walking around. I'm a robot walking around. And the boosts and run buttons don't work anymore. Turtle! Can I pet the turtle? Turtle. I want a freaking turtle. Oh, look, it's kind of following me, but slow. Uh, it's, wait, what is that? Is that a lizard? I don't know what the frick that is. Um. But yeah, I'd love a little, like, a coin-sized turtle. Those things are adorable. Of course, obviously, they grow up. And then you're like, well, now I got a giant tortoise in my house. <laughs> um, okay. Bam! Activate the shrine. What the flip? What the flip even, dude? So it's an... Is this Atlantis? Is this what I've discovered? Am I gonna jump off this into the water? Here we go! Whee! Oh, what a graceful diver. Oh, hardly a splash. 10 points. All right, let's go. Okay, well, at least I'm away from the creepy robot fish. So that's good. Less creepy robot fish, the better. Um, let's see, we got a trail. Dead end. Um, I'm just gonna go up the giant. That's locked. Okay, I gotta figure out how to open that. Um, there's a trail here. So, follow that for a bit. Let's see if that takes me anywhere. No? I don't know. There's so much to actually look at. Like, why was any of this here? What is this? Is this Atlantis? There's another uh, meditation stone. Apparently, it's a trophy to, like, find them all or something. Which, you know, what are half of these things I'm seeing? Is that a penguin? Hold on, uh, touch pad. Okay, so this is a TikTolic. This thing right here, which I've never heard or seen uh, before. Uh, over here, uh, we got a gar. Okay. And then that's an anthode something <laughs> what the frick it's ammonite 
It's an ammonite. Ah, oh, it's the it's the shell things I've been collecting. Except, wait, how do these even swim? Do they just propulse themselves? And if so, I feel like the way this is moving in the water probably isn't accurately depicted. Um, if anything, it seems to be floating. Um, I don't know anything about those other than they're in Pokemon and they're awesome. So, uh, yeah. Touchpad to stop meditating. There we go. Get off this dang rock. Let's go. Woo. So graceful. Okay. Uh, so I see some chains. So I'm going to go towards those, I guess. Since the game's taught me to do so. Um, chain goes this way. Wait, am I going backwards? I don't know, dude. <laughs> I don't flippin' know. I'll just, okay, I think that's the way I want it to be unlocked, right? Um, so I've got to, I need to get in there, but I have to unlock this door first. But how do I do that? Um, oh great, this is gonna be, this is gonna be puzzly. Okay, I don't see anything mechanism-wise that unlocks this. So maybe I need to go deeper. We must go deeper into the world of water and discover what there is to be told. Um... Okay, I'm gonna go further this way, because I haven't really gone this way yet. There we go! You can't mash the X button, apparently. You have to, like, press... Press it at the right time, I guess. Which is that's cool. Oh, here we go. Okay, I found one. Excellent. Blam! Crank the thing. Okay, and that's going to um that's one of those chains. Will that unlock the other door also? No? God dang it, how am I supposed to... Uh, how am I supposed to open the other door? I don't know. It sounds like something's eating something. Don't... Stop! Stop! Stay away from me! You're evil! Evil! Um, okay. Uh, so this chain... I... I don't know. I don't know. I'll figure it out. I'll just swim around... And figure it out um man yeah i really hope this game gives me some answers soon i don't know what's happening whatsoever this thing do i oh oh do i need to get up oh, i probably do huh okay well first off i didn't mean to surface breach like that <laughs> um oh, can i walk on the algae at all is that a thing i can do <sighs> won't let me get up here Oh no, the controls! Okay, okay. So, is there. Oh yeah, that's the dive button. Okay. Whee! Okay, that's not what I'm trying to do, though. Uh, yes, there's a bridge type of deal here. Um, okay. Can I get up here at all? Will that lead inside? I don't know. Oh, God dang it. <laughs> this game has me stuck. Which is frustrating. Oh, wait, hold on. Uh, uh, I think I found it. I think I found it right there. Can I, like, hop out of the water onto the thing? <laughs> no. <laughs> that would have been pretty ninja, though, right? If he could do that. Or it, I guess, because it's a robot. Doesn't have a gender. Shouldn't try to gender specify things in general, Phoenix. Jeez. Okay, anyways, I figured it out. I have to get on top of this thing. It's gonna unlock that door, and then that'll unlock the chain. That only took way too long. But you know what? It's not about rushing through the game in this game. It's not, you know? You gotta enjoy the surroundings. You gotta enjoy the wildlife. This, you know? Stuff, shut up. <laughs> dolphins! I don't know what kind of dolphins those are. Their eyes are freaking creepy. Whee! 
time to unlock this last chain. I shall break the chains that bind you. What are these chains even made out of? That they're lasting this long underwater? Not gold? Does gold last underwater really good? Although it's very soft, so I don't know. Copper, maybe? Does copper rust and stuff? I don't know. What the frick? Why did it show over there? Oh, is it just like, hey, in case you didn't get that chain yet? What, I do it out of order game? What, does that make you upset? Huh? Well, guess what? I don't care. <laughs> Whee! Now I can actually swim kind of fast now that I know how that works. Of course, I don't know how to do it continuously, so that's a problem. Whoa, you're a big turtle! You're so big. Okay. Um, yeah, that's probably a tortoise. And then, I don't know what that is, some sort of eel salmon fish. <laughs> um, nice fountain. Uh, this probably wants me to go that way. Um, so that's what I'll do. Go that way. Uh, what is that? It's, um, one of those fountain-y things, um. Okay, it's opened the door. Sweet. Oh, okay. Oh, we're doing another one of those current things. Cool. Follow me, fishies. Woo. Whoa. That's actually really cool. Like, it's a water elevator. <laughs> Which, uh, I've built plenty of in Minecraft. <laughs> okay, so... This thing clearly wasn't built to just go on land. Obviously, it can uh, handle it, but it wasn't meant to. Look at the birds! Actual birds. Where are we? Are we underwater still? I can't really tell. That looks like a castle, though, right there, doesn't it? There's some kind of town or whatever further ahead. And that's some kind of temple? I don't know, but we're gonna dive. Here we go! Whoa! This would normally kill somebody. It would break your neck. Boom! But we're totally fine because we are robot. I am robot. Fear me, for I shall conquer the seas. <laughs> um, it is. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep going a direction, uh, and I'm sure it'll do things for me that I like. So cool. Wait, what's that? Oh, it's one of those uh, fountain thingies that sprout life out of them. It's a dunk Lestias. How do you pronounce that? <laughs> if anybody knows, put in the put in the comments below. <laughs> Another meditation. I don't care. Uh, here we go. Button. Bam. Okay, so that does the thing. Oh, no, it's a multi-tier fountain. Oh, no. <laughs> Things are getting more and more complicated. <laughs> they involve much more work. Okay. Uh, although this definitely does make the game last longer, because I was just flying through it before, right? Woohoo! Follow me, fish! If you can. Um, okay, so... Then we got this one, which I don't think that's... I think these two open up that one. I think that's what that happens. Or what? I think that's what that is, is what I meant to say. So, <laughs> let's go to this one, and then it should unlock the big door. And this place is so freaking. I'm not gonna say it, but it's very nice on the eyes. <laughs> like, I wish I could breathe underwater just so I could explore places like this. Of course, places as awesome as this don't exist in our world, because. My bad, capture cut right there. Um, what was it saying? Uh, we can't build stuff like this because the cost of building things underwater is really high. Blam! Okay, fish, follow me. We are going through this gate over here. 
That's it. Follow me. Hey, you. Get out of my face. I said swim by me. Not, like, on me. Jeez. Oh, please. Swim. Swim. Swim by me. Oh, yeah. Woohoo. Doing all the moves. Being fancy as heck. Woo. And I think this might be another elevator. It looks like it would be. I don't know why mystical water has to pool first, but you know what else? How how do these fish eat? What do these fish eat? Where's all this algae and plant life coming from? Okay, that's my bad. That's the alarm for the episode. <laughs> I forgot to actually turn off uh, my ringtone for that. Where the frick do I go? Oh, okay, I go this way, obviously. So, do do do. Head on over here. And it's. Oh, okay, that was an interesting way to get out. Um, I don't think you did that before. Whoa, listen to that. Underwater sound, above ground sound. Under. Above. <laughs> Sorry if I haven't sounded too energetic this episode. I was pretty sleepy and wasn't even going to record any episodes, but I was like, you know what? Abzo's pretty relaxed to begin with. I, I think I could do some of these episodes. So, this is my relaxing playthrough, in case you haven't noticed. But anyways, we'll open this gate and figure out what's on the other side in the next episode. So thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, uh, comment down below on what you're thinking of this series and what you think is going on in this world. And as always, remember to keep the flame alive. <laughs>